728, checking in with Jill Bellin now. She's talking about Ukrainian dancing. When she was on set earlier in the show, she was wearing a dress. Yeah. I'm wondering now if she's wearing the big Ukrainian dance. Oh, you are in costume. There we yes. go. Yes. Thankfully, you know what? Dun, da, da. All I need is the red boots. But I'm happy to be wearing the headpiece, especially. These are beautiful costumes, and I'm being joined by Yuliana this morning, getting ready for Razum this upcoming Sunday, in which Ukrainian dancers from all over Canada will be joining the Calgary troupe on stage at the Jubilee, 2.30 p.m. It's going to be a spectacular show. If this is any indication, uh, just the costumes alone are a feast for the eyes. So, Yuliana, tell us a little bit about the different costuming and the significance. We'll start with uh, first to your left. Sure. So, part of Ukraine has different regions. And and um, all of them have slightly different uh, cultural aspects, especially when it comes to uh, dress and costuming and even songs and, and sometimes even dialects. But uh, on my left here, we have Annie, and she's dressed in a Bukovinian costume. Uh, Bukov Bukovina is a region in Ukraine, in part of western Ukraine, and uh, they are part of the mountainous region there. Um, obviously, she has a, a very specific uh, Bukovinian region costume with the, a wraparound skirt and a, a black black vest as well as the headpiece with the grass. Beautiful. <laughs> nice pose. I did this, but you don't do this in this costume. Is that right? It, no, that is wrong. <laughs> Hands on hips only. Okay, what do we have next? Uh, next, we have a re another region from Western Ukraine. It's called uh, Hutsulia. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she's actually wearing a costume that uh, is very similar. It also has a vest. And the, the skirt here is different, that it has two different panels, one coming from the back and one coming from the front, okay. um, as well as um, the different kinds of headpieces. Yes, beautiful. And next. Next up, who do we have? Next up, we have Isabella wearing a bowling uh, costume. Bowling is actually in the northern part of Ukraine, and uh, even though she has uh, a vest as well, but she has a an apron mm -hmm. in the front, just like in this costume as well. We have an apron, but uh, it's it's quite different compared to the ones from Western Ukraine. Absolutely. And last but not least, last but not least, we have Victoria wearing a Transcarpathian costume, which is another part of Western Ukraine. We find that Western Ukraine is divided by many more. Uh, uh, smaller regions because of the mountains, but uh, for the most part, the rest of Ukraine is quite uh, similar. So we have Poltava costumes and so on. But uh, Victoria has a really nice, beautiful uh, skirt, which uh, this part of Western Ukraine is actually influenced a lot by Hungary and so on, and that's why we have the full uh, skirt with a crinoline underneath. Wonderful. I understand there are costume changes that sometimes take place in under a minute. What does it look like backstage? Um, well, uh, it, you have to lay your stuff out already be beforehand so that you know what, what comes next. But you also might need some help in terms of uh, just handing people costumes or taking something off or even then doing buttons because that sometimes can be you know, one of those most frustrating things when you can't undo a button in 40 seconds. Okay, so. that's what's going on backstage. Bobby pins flying, I'm assuming. The big show this upcoming Sunday, 2.30 p.m. at the Jubilee. It's going to be spectacular. We're going to get moving next. And you guys, I hope you were taking notes because there's going to be a quiz on all the regions. What? Oh. Mm -hmm. I, well, I like the one with the grass. Yeah, I like the grass hats. We or, like the mountain or grass. The, and the Princess Leia bun hat. Oh, I forgot about that one. I like mm. that red skirt. I would